Hello, my name is Eric Gregori, and I'm a computer science teacher here at SNHU. And in this video, <coughs> I'm going to walk you through how to use um, Visual Studio. So to start out, let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Now it's really important to make sure <coughs> that you know that you actually have Visual Studio installed and not Visual Studio Code. Okay, there's a there's a difference. They're two completely different pieces of software. So you want to make sure you have Visual Studio installed. Now to create a new project, we're going to click on Create a New Project, and we're going to click on Console App. And then next. Now when giving it a name, don't add any spaces or anything like that. Uh, it it, it can cause problems later on in the build. So let's say uh, how to use VS. So notice I use underscore here. Again, that's a safe thing to do. Don't avoid using spaces. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's use camel notation. That's even better. There. Now it's even easier to see. Okay. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, you know, where is my code at? Where is where where do they just create that project? So the way you do that is, you click on this right here. This is basically the, your project that you just created, see so how to use VS. And we're going to right click, and we're going to go down here to where it says Open Folder in File Explorer. Explorer, sorry, old Linux joke. So we open up, we click on that, and it brings us directly to our project. So here is our project. <coughs> <coughs> and then here it tells us where it installed it on a hard drive, which that's going to be dependent on how you installed Visual Studio. So here, here's our source code, and it's right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, well, let's go ahead and just build. So now uh, the question always becomes, uh, I can't find my EXE, where's my EXE? So. <coughs> First thing to do is check this. So this is set to debug. I want to set this to release. Okay, so notice this says release. Now, I go up here, I go to build. I select build solution. And watch what happens. See, I, all of a sudden I get a release directory there. So first of all, down here, it says I succeeded. It tells me exactly where it put the executable. And now I have a release directory here with my executable right there. You cannot debug or run or test or anything without having a successful build. So now I can go up here, I can select debug, and if you look closely, see it says start without debugging. You can also hit control F5 to, to go ahead and uh, run without debugging, um, or you can just use this menu. So we select, and it pops up, and there's our hello world. Now, <coughs> what happens if you select, let me go back here. Okay, so there's our release. Remember that matches here. So now what happens if we select debug? Okay, now notice there's no debug here, but if I text select build, build solution, oh, see debug pops up. <coughs> it says here that it correctly created an AXE. It says succeeded, and you go to debug, and you have your exe right there. So again, unless there's an exe file, you can't debug. So let's create an error. So I'm going to go back to release. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete release here. So I'm going to delete the exe over here. So let's see there's no exe. Exe doesn't exist. So now I'm going to introduce an error. And I'm going to try to build. So I'm going to select Build Solution just like I did before. Now notice it says one failed. It did not create an executable. There's no line here that says create an executable, and sure enough, there is no executable here. So if you're, if you're saying, you know, where's my executable, uh, check this console window down here um, and see, did it actually create an executable? Also, if you want to send me a screenshot, this is the screen. This is the window down here that you really want to send me. This tells me almost everything I need to know um, uh, about any problems you're having. So now, if we get rid of this, uh, now if we go ahead and build, 
lo and behold, our X cube is right there. It says it succeeded, and we got data there. Okay, so that is how you use Visual Studio for uh, Project 1, Project 2, uh, the calculator uh, pro uh, assignment, and the uh, file I.O. assignment. This will do it all, f you know, uh, this is what you need to know to do that. Um, is there anything else? That's That covers everything. Okay, in the next video then I'll cover how to add uh, Python for, project, uh, for assignment 2.1 and Project 3.